In an earlier video, we explored key parameters associated with oscillatory motion like period, frequency and amplitude. We also studied the projection of the pen and motion of its shadow on the screen. With the position time graph, we analyze sinusoidal motion of the shadow. Let us trace the motion directly on the paper as it happens with this activity. I will discuss the detailed build steps later. Oscillatory motion of this eraser is due to the rotating wheel. Paper and wheel are connected with the thread. When paper moves, the wheel rotates. This results in oscillatory motion of the eraser, which is connected by a ruler. Sketch pen attached to the eraser marks the position on the paper. We get a real-time graph similar to the one we saw earlier. Amplitude of the green graph is more than that of the red one, though the period is same for both. We can change the amplitude by moving the position of ruler on the wheel. Period of red graph is more than the green one. We can change the period with which the eraser oscillates by attaching thread to different wheel here. It is important to note that motion of the eraser is almost sinusoidal as this radius is much smaller compared to that of the ruler. If this radius is large, the shape of the graph is not at all sinusoidal. This is due to the changing position or angle of the ruler as the wheel rotates. But this mechanism gives us a good idea of how oscillatory motion can be traced. Let us look at how this is built. The card sheet wheel has layers of different red eye. We can change the period of oscillation by using a different radius. Strip is attached on the top of the wheel so that we can connect the ruler and the wheel. With a corrugated sheet as a base, let us attach a strip which acts as a guide. White screen is used to pull the wheel as well as capture the oscillatory motion of the eraser. Two cycle spokes and erasers form a rail-like mechanism. Larger eraser with a hole will slide on these spokes. Pins are attached to the eraser on four sides. Eraser can glide easily on the spoke. Hole is used to place a sketch pen. Rubber bands are used to keep the pen always in touch with the paper even if it is moving. One end of the thread is attached to the wheel. Bend pins acts as a guide for the thread. Let us place the screen and attach other end of the thread. The other end is arrested with the help of a wooden stick to the screen. Let us turn it by 90 degrees, so 
so that we can read the graph as it is drawn. X axis represents time. We will place a small sheet under the eraser till we fix the sketch pen in place. This will ensure that initial sketch pen marks are not drawn on the main paper. We will remove the small sheet now. We can keep the screen base as is and attach another white sheet on it for subsequent runs. Do try this at home. Thank you.